Hi, welcome to our third video. In this video, we talk about bispentafluorophenyl carbonate, also known as PFP carbonate. This is a very useful reagent for the formation of ureas or uh, carbamates, where traditional methods typically fail. Literature procedures use the highly toxic triazophosgene to form the carbonyl chloride and simply trap the chloride with the triazole in this example. The prep also requires an aqueous workup to remove excess triphosgene before triazole addition. Triphosgene is a safer substitute for phosgene since at room temperature it is a solid and not a gas. However, upon aqueous workup, phosgene is formed. The standard replacement, CDI, could not be used for most of the couplings due to the lower pKa values of the desired heterocycled nucleophiles. In this example, the equilibrium lays towards reactants. The higher the pKa of imidazole precluded CDI as a viable option for coupling. However, pentafluorophenyl has the appropriate pKa for use as a leaving group. We have developed a one-pot multi-component reaction utilizing Rupert's reagent. This methodology improved upon the existing triphosgene methodology in terms of safety and yield. In addition, we have found that several mix and hydride intermediates could be isolated after column chromatography thus opening up potential for library expansion. In this example, the mixed anhydride intermediate was isolated in 88% yield. More importantly, we were able to expand this methodology over to the delicate urea formation. As you saw in the previous slide, this is rather difficult to achieve with standard methods. So in closing, um, I do recommend the PFP carbonate as an alternative. Uh, when you try to make a tricky carbamate or urea formation. Uh, it works very well. Thank you.